Welcome back to the Raycasting tutorial, and today we are finally moving on to episode 3, which is moving things faster. So I had this really nice lab built for me. Um, it's not quite done yet, they're still working on it, but for now we have a testing room to go to. So let's go through the main lobby, let's open up the testing room, and let's make sure to close the door behind us to make sure that nobody sees our secrets. Uh, anyway, so today we are covering uh, Raycasting Tutorial Episode 3, which is moving boats faster, or moving the Raycasting uh, devices faster, um, so that you can have, like, guns and whatnot, uh, like, more effectively. But before we get into this, let's go ahead and roll the trailer. Okay, so first off, doing these, let's do a quick little demonstration, but making boats move extra fast is actually pretty easy. So here you can see we have three boats and you'll see it's gonna fly off really quickly. Gone, okay? Uh, let me just do kill at E type equals boat. And this will probably kill some other things, but I don't care. Oh uh, yeah, I killed a bunch of armor stands that I probably needed, but let's just ignore it. Um, so anyways, so if you look at this, it's going to go really, really fast. Let me just clear the chat real quick. And phew, that was way faster than a normal ray casting, um, than normal ray casting would be. Uh, and the reason for this is that you have three boats. So I'm going to show you really quickly. Let's just go. Okay. So now I can give you a demonstration. So all these boats are basically stacked on top of each other. So we have this initial boat at the bottom and it has two armor stands. One of the armor stands has a boat riding on top of it, which has two armor stands in the boat. One of the armor stands has a boat riding on top of it, which has two armor stands in the boat. So essentially what goes on is the boat in the bottom right hand corner gets, well not the boat, well the boat, the armor stand in the bottom right hand corner gets teleported to the boat in the top left corner, essentially moving it up way further than uh, previously. So previously what we did was we had this armor stand move to the boat, um, which would move the whole boat forward the distance between this armor stand and the boat, uh, or the other way around. So the distance between them is, say, 0.1, so it'll move the boat at a rate of 0.1 per tick that this thing is going off. But now, since we're having this guy go all the way up to that guy, the difference between their distance is like a full block, so it's way faster. It's like 10 times faster or even more than that. Um, and we can make it way faster too um, by just adding more and more because it's making the difference between the bottom right and the top left way bigger. Um, so that's how you make it faster. That's basically all there is to it. Um, but we can go over some applications really quickly. I just wanted to get this one out of the way so we can work towards some other more complicated things. Okay, so now that leads us to the second point of this video, um, which is basically replacing him, the boat, with a different entity or replacing him with something uh, else. So you can always just use an execute. I went over this in a other video, but it wasn't as in-depth. So let's go over this now. So here we have the boat, which is our classical boat with our armor stand in the front, armor stand in the back, labeled passenger A or passenger B, right? So then we have our classical uh, command right here, which teleports passenger um, the boat to the passenger B um, yeah ba basically that's what's going on uh, you can see a different video if you want so basically the middle of the boat is going over to him right just like that okay um, then this next one is going to execute at the passenger B which is the guy in the front of the boat and it is going to teleport a creeper 512 blocks below it uh, to where it is. So let's teleport him up uh, 512 in the sky. So tilde 512. And now he's up in the sky. Now let's summon a creeper. Ooh. Let's put it on easy mode and summon a creeper. And then let's activate that. He's gone. Just like that. Goodbye, creeper. And as you can see, the creeper is moving along the path with the uh, armor stand. So let me just get rid of these and then we'll continue. Okay, so as you can see from that, we basically have two sets of things. First, we're moving the armor stand and the boat thing in the straight direction. Um, and then we are also teleporting the creeper in the straight direction. You can tag the creeper, a specific thing 
Um, or you can instead make it constantly summon and kill a creeper, or you can just not use a creeper altogether, use an armor stand, or you can just, instead of teleporting something, you can just do slash particle, let's just do smoke, tilde tilde tilde, one one one, ten ten, true, uh, let's just make it speed of zero. Okay, so, at, or you can change the command that goes here. Uh, to do like an effect at the player down there, or if you want to do a particle. So here we have them, and oh, I probably shouldn't have that enabled. Uh, let me just get rid of them. So we'll just teleport them back up into the sky, just like before. And then we'll activate this, and you'll see the particles go by. So there you go. So um, that's pretty good, and that is going to lay up some, uh, some good things for future videos in which we use... Um, in which we have the armor stand teleport to the player. So if you combine episodes one through three, we can create something where the armor stand, the boat armor stand is summoned at the player facing their direction because it's teleported to them, goes off in a straight direction or curved direction. You don't see it. It's teleported to the player 512 blocks in the sky. You just see maybe an armor stand holding a sword and you don't see the armor stand itself. So just a floating sword. And then you have the floating sword spinning in a circle and anything it hits will do damage. So that's just a little layup for something that we possibly could have in the future. Um, in maybe episode four, we'll go over that. But we're starting to get into out of like the basics and more into the improvise. Uh, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the format of this video. Maybe if you want to see more like this, leave a like and uh, or a comment about what you liked about it or what you didn't like. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.